scheduling app named Swift Voice with our, um, our character, which is a tor tortoise. The purpose of this is to give users a central location to store their day-to-day -day notes, habits, tasks, events, and goals. We separated it into two sections. One's a calendar, which can store habits, tasks, events, and goals, and the other is a notebook, so you can do reminders and other things. All right, we've decided to use Python with the package Kibi. Uh, in more detail, we have Kitty and D, which adds to our design of our app. And it's currently available on Android, however, we're still working on making it available for iOS. And of course, the mascot is Tortoise. <laughs> okay, so this is our ideal design as of right now. This is where we want to get it looking by the end of the semester. So we have three main pages. Um, we want to make it very user friendly, which is why we have the toolbar at the bottom. So in the middle, we have the home screen button. To the left, we have the calendar button. And to the right, we have the notebook. So um, each of these um, images show what each of the screens would look like. So um, the first one is the home page. The second being the notebook, which will have um, all of your notes listed and then also the create note button. And then the last one is the calendar page, which we want to be able to see the calendar for um, a week view, a day view, and a month view. And it's a little bit hard to see the dots, but once you input an event and it shows up onto the calendar, they'll be color coded. So um, for the red dots, it'll be a habit, the blue dots are events, and the purple dots will be the task. And then moving on, we're going to show what the app looks like right now. So here's the app. Um, on the right is the window where it's running, and then this is the uh, pie chart, the uh, IDE. So it starts off, I have here a uh, calendar, and it is accurate. Um, so it is accurate. Uh, it uses the Python um, calendar class along with the date time module to uh, basically to get the data from and then display the calendar on the GUI. So um, all of these are uh, totally accurate. You can go back to like see leap years and stuff. You can go ahead. Um, these are the individual days are date time objects. So we're ready to implement where we can add events and such. With the notebook here, um, so you can do a lot of things with this. Um, you can put on the note, pull it up. You can edit the note, so I can just add some stuff on there, hit save, then pull it back up, it saves it. We're using uh, SQLite 3 right now for the database, so that way it's persistent. Uh, of course, you can cancel. Um, you can create a new note, of course, and call it wherever you want. It's in there, and then it's in a scroll view here, so then you can see it. And let's say if you want to delete a note, you can long press, and then you can delete the note as well. And uh, finally, right here, this is the app. So it's running on an Android. Um, it's hard to see, but same, same thing. <laughs> uh, I was using it for my presentation notes, actually, so it's already a little bit functional. And yeah, so that's what we have so far for the Swift Voice. This one through Grim, it does work. That's right. <laughs> There's a yes. cam actually uh, if you want until later when you demonstrate next time. Not one you probably show and you step. Oh, yeah. No, step. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we didn't know. So, um, yeah, so. Presentation. For the next, next step, step, yeah, on our project, um, we just want to improve the overall design. As you guys saw, our ideal design doesn't look quite the same as what we have right now, so we want to get that looking better, uh, more aesthetically pleasing. And we also want to get the reminder notifications implemented for the objects that the users are creating. 
So we hit a little bit of a roadblock there as we're going to need to use a third party most likely to help implement the notification. So we're still working on that right now. Um, we're gonna also implement, implement that functional toolbar. And then we also would like to implement a login screen. So um, this will show up before users get to the home page and that will help store the notes and events along into um, an account. And then we're also gonna work on our app logo. And that'll be it. All right.